There's really not much to see. Um, I'll step out of the way, but it's kind of boring out here. So it's not your typical camp presidential campaign event. We don't see people rallying outside. We don't see um, signs or really uh, much of what's going on. And I'm told by one of the Biden staffers, local staffers, is that they uh, kind of kept the details about the visit as far as the timing and the exact locations. And pretty much all uh, the people that we saw enter into the parking lot about 45 minutes ago were with uh, the Biden-Harris campaign and the uh, pool reporter. So you would expect to see, I mean, it, it, this is a pretty big event for um, the two of them to be campaigning together for the first time since the Democratic National Convention here in Arizona. We've established, our, our state has established itself as a battleground state. And so this is technically a big event, but not a lot of fanfare. So we're getting information about what's going on with these meetings from our uh, national course of correspondent pool reporters. But from out here, you really can't tell anything much is going on. Biden-Harris campaign not releasing a lot of details about where these events are taking place and exactly when. Like I said, you know, this is a huge event politically, but you can't tell by the outside of the Heard Museum is really not a lot going on here. Well, Ms. McCain spoke at the virtual demonstration Democratic National Convention recalling the relationship Biden and John McCain formed during the Senate during their Senate careers. She then formally endorsed Biden for president last month, praising his quote character and integrity. They're really showing themselves to do really well. Come on, man.